Howdy folks, I'm Lordly Leo, loudly lamenting laughable lunches. I'm Amber. And here are more laughable lunches for us to lament. I don't know why we're lamenting laughable lunches. I mean, wouldn't that just mean that they were funny? No, I think it's just like, Shh, this is the lunch you're serving me, Lordly Leo. Yeah, a single leaf of cabbage. Yep. Not good. Not good. Let's get started. All right, folks, and our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for breaking up with my boyfriend because he ripped my jeans in public? My boyfriend uploads various pranks that he makes with his friends on TikTok. From the beginning, I asked him not to include me in his pranks and that I didn't want my face to appear in any of his videos. Sometimes I help him record or edit the videos, but that's all. Well, two days ago, at night, we were going to go buy some things with his friends. Before we went, we had adult intimate time and we were late. He went down to the car while I finished getting dressed. I couldn't find my panties, so I just put on my jeans. We arrived at the place and his friends were already there. Everything was going normally until we reached the hallway. My boyfriend and one of his friends grabbed my back pockets and pulled them pretty hard and tore my jeans completely. When my boyfriend realized that I wasn't wearing any panties, he started yelling at me and then proceeded to give me his sweater. When we got to his house, I called my brother to bring me some clothes. I told him that we were breaking up and then I left. Today, he came to my house and said that I was exaggerating and that it was my fault for not wearing panties and that he is the one who should be angry at me because thanks to this fact that I wasn't wearing any panties, his friend saw my butt. Am I the jerk? All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk or just completely like victim blaming? Yeah, definitely not the jerk here. I mean, how disgusting of him to be like, yeah, I know you're the one who had your private parts exposed, but like I'm the one who should be feeling upset because basically the insinuation is that he owns your body and yeah. you're just there as property to him. Yeah, you definitely should not be with a partner who has violated your boundaries. You told him, I do not want to be part of your pranks. And what does he do? He and his friends destroy your clothes and then he gets upset at you. Yeah, I don't know how ripping someone's jeans is considered a prank, but apparently he thinks it is. And I think that OP had every right to break up with this individual because what they did here is probably just the start of their many mm -hmm. terrible, poor taste pranks. And what was the, the, you know, joke here that you have your underwear exposed in public? Yeah, I don't know what the joke was. I don't know what the punchline was other than just cruelty. Like making you walk around with your underwear hanging out? Because it sounds like they're about to go shopping. Like, Yeah, yeah. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. And Alarm Duns says, sounds like immature kids who shouldn't be allowed in the public. The lot of you are terrible, for sure, 17 or 18 year olds, get out and get a real life. And OP replies, we're 27 years old. Like, what a rude comment to make. Mm -hmm. Well, the thing is, OP didn't have anything to do with it. Like, she was the victim in all of this. So to be like, you all are horrible. Yeah. And Gizmo's Furry Blank says, do you really believe that he didn't hide the panties, not the jerk? And OP replies, I really don't know. I never found them. Well, that's interesting. That would be even more sinister. Yeah, maybe he did this because he wanted to humiliate her and then get angry at her to make like her feel self-conscious or guilty around him. Mm -hmm. And Low Maker says, don't date people who prank people on TikTok. And OP replies, we have been dating for five years. And when I started dating him, he didn't do this or behave like this. The pranks started a year and a half ago. Dump him now. <laughs> yeah. All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, Am I a jerk for using a gift card that my roommate's students got for her? Good morning. I know by the title that it looks like I stole this from my roommate, but I think that there is more to this story. My roommate is a middle school math teacher, and her students got her a $100 gift card to the Texas Roadhouse for Christmas. She loves her students, but she was kind of mean to them because she spent the afternoon talking about how dumb they were to not know that she hates chain restaurants. The gift card has sat in our little telephone nook since she brought it home and to save for that day that she has never mentioned again. My ex-boyfriend has been having a really hard time. He lost his job, his car broke down, and he had a huge falling out with his family and friends. I wanted to do something nice for him, so without even really thinking about it, I grabbed the gift card and I took him out for dinner. My roommate is so mad at me and she said that she was saving that gift card for when her parents came over to visit this summer. 
I asked her if she remembered what she said about it and if she was saving it and why not put it away. She said of course she remembered, but she can't afford to give a $100 meal away and she said that I've had some silver coins sitting in the same spot, long story, and never once dreamed of taking them. I said a gift card is a little different than $200 worth of silver coins. She said how exactly? And I said if she really didn't know then she was being too obtuse to have the conversation. She said you are being such a B and then she went and slammed the door. Am I the jerk? Alright folks what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Yeah you're the jerk. OP that's theft. Like you do not get to take your roommate's stuff. Like, was it kind of her to trash talk her students? No. Presumably no. behind their backs. No, that wasn't a nice thing to do. But that still doesn't mean you get to just go and take her gift card. Yeah. It doesn't matter if she didn't have any plans for it whatsoever and just left it there until you moved. It's still her gift card. You should have asked her if you wanted to use it. Yeah, I mean, would it have been so hard to pick up the phone and call your roommate or text her and say, hey, my boyfriend's having a rough time. Do you mind if we use your gift card to go to a dinner or something like that? Yeah. Or I know that you weren't really... Uh, I wasn't sure if you were still planning on using this gift card. Do you mind if I use it? Or any number of things, right? Because you could have asked in a polite way, but instead you just stole it. And $100 is $100, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it's not like teachers are loaded. Yeah. And I think that this is a mean thing to do. I think that she has every right to be angry at you. And it is as similar to the silver coins as even though you don't think it is, right? Yeah, well, OP's big argument is, but they have sentimental value. And it's like, I understand things have sentimental value, but like your argument was that the gift card is lying there and not being used. Your silver coins are also lying there and not being used. Not everything has to be in constant use to be useful. Yeah. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. And Incessant Learner says, You're the jerk and you need to pay her back and offer to find a new place to live. Your roommate now understands that she is living with a thief. You have ruined her living arrangement and added stress to her daily life. Don't think of running away and leaving her to cover your rent. However, the only way to restore your reputation and self-image is to change your behavior and live honestly. And OP replies, my parents pay me rent directly to the landlord, so I can't move. And MTurby20 says, question, do you work? Because you're not financially responsible for what is arguably the largest monthly expense for most people. And if that's the case, then there's no reason you cannot and should not replace her gift card immediately. Holy cow, you're the jerk and an entitled one at that. And OP replies, no, I go to SDSU, school is enough for me. And OK Apparel 6270 says, how do you pay for food, books, drugstore? Do you even go out with friends? How do you pay for that? You say that you pay credit card debt with what money? And OP replies, my parents have Instacart delivered to me so I don't overspend or they drive down and take me shopping. I don't really know about books or how they are paid for. Most is online, I guess. I don't do drugs at all. I went kind of crazy my first two years of at SDSU with credit cards and my parents agreed to pay them off if I sold everything and they were in complete control of my money until I graduate. And Advanced Inevitable 63 says, do, do you not know what a drugstore is? And OP replies, I mean, I assume by the way you're saying it, asking if we define it differently. And Advanced Inevitable 63 says, it's a pharmacy. It has nothing to do with doing drugs. At most, you pick up prescription medicine there. And OP replies, oh yeah, like Walgreens. My parents always did that for me. I mean, I'm not going to make fun of OP for not knowing what a drugstore what a drug is. Store is, but I mean... It seems like they are a very sheltered individual who doesn't have a lot of knowledge on how the world works or about money or the value of money. Well, and also, like, I understand that OP, it sounds like OP doesn't have good financial control and has racked up a lot of debt. That doesn't mean you get to go and then steal other people's belongings. Like, it's it just, I understand it must be frustrating not having your own money, mm -hmm. but your parent, her parents are being very generous by offering to cover her bills and like do all the stuff for her financially. So like that's kind of a, a tra it's a trade off. Yeah, trade off was you don't have money to treat your ex boyfriend. Yeah, so I guess you have to phone up your parents and ask them for a hundred dollars to give to your roommate. Yeah, and Cad Monkey says that is theft. You know it's theft. You are hoping for justification of your theft, which you aren't going to get. 
you are most definitely the jerk here. And OP replies, I'm not arguing with my judgment, but I don't think that people are seeing the part where it just sat there for months. It doesn't <laughs> matter if it just sits there for months. It's still theft. I think OP is living in a fantasy world. Like, you can leave your belonging. How many people have, like, things sitting in, like, a vault in storage? Like, does that mean if you haven't touched, like, your, your safe and, like you know a year that someone can just come in and take everything from your safe because you're not using it well and i think again the best corresponding uh analogy here is there's silver coins yeah. that are just sitting around not being used regardless of whether they have sentimental value or not they're sitting around and that's the core argument of op here yeah well and the thing is like even currency without sentimental value like sometimes you because a gift card is a form of currency yeah you don't have to like spend all your currency immediately sometimes you want to save it and it's good to save things yeah. and so this whole argument of well you weren't using it just pretend it was a hundred dollars cash yeah if it was a hundred dollar bill sitting there would you see it differently and i i'm hoping op would but I somehow think that OP might not. Because it doesn't have sentimental value. It wasn't given to her by her grandfather, so... I have sentimental value towards any of the bills <laughs> I have laying yeah. around. They're all <laughs> sentimental value. Yeah. All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of choice. I've got some tea right here. And Amber, she allegedly has a joke. What do dishes do for fun? Dishes get smashed for fun. No, <laughs> they go bowling. Oh, I see. So they smash other dishes. No, no uh, smashing. Yeah, they, they take the bowl, roll it into pins, and it smashes. No, they're plastic. They can't break. They can't break. Folks, shatterproof plastic. Folks, they're shatterproof plastic. They can't break. No, no dishes were harmed in the making of this joke. <laughs> and I have licorice spice. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy special Sunday. And folks, you know what makes it special? You do. And Amber, too. And Brian, too. Amber, we need some kind of moral advice and or guidance. And please have it on petty theft. Don't take other... I know I've said this before. Don't take other people's things. Even if they have sat around and not been used for a few weeks or months or whatever. That's right, folks. Don't take other people's stuff. Easy as pie. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!